For the first 10 games of the regular season, we are 5-5. Five and five. Our chemistry went up from a 25% to a 49%. So we're improving. The record isn't great, but look, it's early in the season. I don't really care about the record. I want to make sure that our guys are playing well, playing well together, and that's what ultimately matters. But today, we're facing the Dallas Mavericks. And why is that important? Because, well, one, they're 1-8. One but even more importantly, they have Steven Adams. So we're going to go face our old franchise player. Will he get revenge on us? Will we end up beating him and showing him that we made the right move? I don't know. Let's find out. Now, wait a second. I was hyped about going into this game because we're playing against Steven Adams, but apparently our boy Charles Bassey broke his leg. He's out for four to six weeks. We just have Bruno Fernando against Steven Adams. He's going to kill us, isn't he? This is a big game. Obviously, Austin Rivers is on the team, but no one really cares about that. It's really the fact that Steven Adams, we're facing our old guy. It's going to be a tough one. Now, Luka, even though the Mavericks are like 1-8, and eight, he has been killing it for this team. And he's one of the top 10 leading scorers in the NBA right now. So we got to watch out for him. And Dennis Smith Jr., still on the Mavericks in this universe. He's missing that first shot. But look at this. Jaden now here rolling. No one's going to guard the 6'11 monster. That was a 2. I'll take it. But he still made the shot. Luka out here trying to do something. He's not going to get it. Bruno comes up with it. Oh, look. Yo, Ja. He's going for buckets today. This is a pretty good start for us right now. Of 5 nothing, Got a couple of turnovers right now for the Mavericks. And uh, things are looking good. I'm surprised that neither Luka or Dennis actually shot those outside shots. I mean, neither one's a great three-point shooter. But if you're that wide open, you kind of got to shoot it. Now, I'm waiting for Steven Adams to throw like a hard pick. But not having Charles Bass is going to be tough. Austin Rivers just might have been the worst play of his career. And that's saying something. Ingram on Donkish is going to be a really good matchup. Oh, look at that. Nice little dribble. Didn't go in. Yo, look at Jaden. No. Already four points and just had a nasty move on Steven Adams. Yo, real talk, I thought the Mavericks would have been one of the better teams in the NBA this year, especially getting Steven Adams, but they are one and eight, and I can 100% see why. They're bad. I'm going to transition. We got Ingram. Got a guy in front. Okay, tough one. Look at Jaden McDaniel. Yo. This is the single best draft pick we have ever made. Oh my God, Donkis out here. Okay, Dallas finally scores. Now Dallas is a few points in the board. Obviously, they feel better about their lot. Wow, Steven Adams with the steal. Oh, that was going to be a guaranteed uh, nice little pass for an easy dunk, but I was wrong. We got the rebound. Uh oh, Jaden in transitions. Got Ray Spalding on him. Spalding can't stop this dude. He's unstoppable right now. Honestly, I feel like this dude is going to be the guaranteed rookie of the year. He's averaging 19.9 points per game, shooting 59%. It's just an unreal stat line. Second free throw. Okay, he's he's human. He misses free throws a little bit. Oh, my God. No, one, no one's guarding? I understand why. This is honestly like the best I've felt about our bench. I mean, Dotson coming off the bench is great. Dwight Powell off the bench. Kevon Looney. I mean, a lot of young talent. Nick Witherspoon's not really playing in today's game. Okay, Gaffer's going to get a nice little dunk. But I honestly feel like our bench is just full of shooters, playmakers, and people that can score whenever we need them to. No, yo, is that Bobin? Makes me a little nervous. Oh, we got him right here. Bobin, you're posterized. I don't even know if that's him. Okay, I've actually confirmed that's Dragon Bender. That's not Bobin, so I uh, was completely wrong. Oh, Dodson rolling. Dude, he is so dangerous rolling like that. He could be our three-point competition winner in the All-Star game. The dude is unreal. Oh, Doc just wide open. That's an easy miss, though. Nico pulling for the three. That's what I've been wanting to see from the young fella. Seven-point lead. First quarter is almost to a close now. Nico's actually put on a little bit of a show here at the end of the first. Oh, Dwight Powell slander. We find a screen for Graham. Shot clock at oh, you're only Graham wide open for three. And that I'm gonna take that all game long. I mean, honestly, outside of Luca, nobody for Dallas is really doing that good. Steven Adams has got maybe two points so far in the game. I'm feeling pretty good about how we played this first quarter. A 10 point lead. Dallas again is one and eight. We should be blowing them out. And this is an opportunity for our young players to kind of shine. All right, wait a second. Wait a second. It's a three-point game. All of a sudden, Dallas is coming back in here. Bruno Fernando trying to muscle up Steven Adams, our old center against our backup center, and that didn't really work, honestly, the way that we wanted it to. Dennis Smith Jr. trying to get deep into the zone. Nothing for him at the moment. 
Adams in the high post. Steven Adams, though, two points, I think, so far today. It's not a lot. Dallas is only down three now. Austin Rivers out here doing some work. Look at Steven Adams. Okay, we fouled him. I wanted to block, but we fouled him. Now, so far in today's game, I, we're missing Charles Bassey a little bit. Not as much as I thought we might, but Steven Adams has been in a funk. I don't know if he's maybe a system player. Maybe he only thrived with having Jaws as point guard. He hasn't looked good at all in today's game. He's getting the rebounds, but he just can't finish the bucket. And so far, the trade for us is looking pretty good. Oh, no. Steven Adams got the rebound. I say something like that, then he finishes strong. Okay, Karis LeVert hasn't done much of anything. So I would like for him to just show Austin Rivers that he's trash and that he's actually good. Oh, good hands there by Karis LeVert. I like it. Oh, here we go. We got a fast break. I'm going to let McDaniels go up. Rise up, young fella. I probably should have thrown an alley-oop, but I wanted to make sure he got the flush and uh, definitely got it. And this game is getting out of hand right now. And uh, honestly, I love it. Let McDaniels pull from up top. That'd have been too special. I don't know if Luca can really guard our boy McDaniels right now. Oh my God, look at him. The low post moves. So close to getting that to drop. So going into halftime, we have a nine point lead. That man right there, Jaden McDaniels, bowling out of control. Luca's playing well for Dallas, but right now our team firing on all cylinders. We've had a good start. I don't want to blow anything. The fact that we're only up nine though is a little disappointing because this is a team that again, we should be blowing out of the water, but somehow we're letting them hang into the game. Steven Adams trying to get his revenge on us, and he's looking sloppy. But he's getting second chance points all game long. His team on the board first here in the second half for the man. Now Mavericks ended up striking first. Covered by Smith. Mavericks struck first. We're looking for that high screen. Bruno Fernando, not as reliable as you might say another player on our team is. Oh my god, he's bad. Yo, job pulling from deep. I don't know what happened from the first game to this game, but he's shooting the lights out. Luca, oh, so close. Wow, they're getting so many rebounds. Yo, Steven Adams is so underrated on the offensive rebound side. And that tip got him three more. I think what you're seeing, though, is that no Charles Bassey has led the Mavericks doing whatever the heck they want inside, and that's hurting us. Good hands by Ferguson, man. He doesn't really play that much, but man, when he does, he unlocks big plays like that. Giants on fire. Gafford in the post, no way. Daniel Gafford, excuse me? I'm going to ignore that shot. But the hard part, though, is that with Jaws scoring so many points, we're just not seeing a lot of opportunities for Brandon Ingram. Look at this, Jaden McDaniels. <laughs> Another one. All right, we've got to get Brandon Ingram more involved. This is just... This is pathetic. Jai out here with some good moves. I like the screen here for Brandon. Let him take a long two. He likes contested twos, and he finally gets one to drop. About time. Away. Daniel's running the break. I like it. I like it. He's so good in transition. Oh, good hands here. I like it. I like it. Again, McDaniels on the break. Give it up. Go up top. We don't ever get alley-oops, man. We tried. We were so close, but in the end, it wasn't meant to be. Luke out here again, just trying to kill Ingram. He's done a pretty good job of doing that so far, but hasn't been able to convert it there. Look at the moves. This is the best draft pick we've ever... I've said it before, but honestly, this is a franchise-changing player. Good closeout. Good shot. Good rebound, though. Dotson pushing again. Got our boy Nico. Nico's gonna find his boy Dwight Powell. No Dwight Powell slander. He missed the shot. I'm incredibly happy with how Jaws played today, but the thing that he has really done is involve his teammates. I think part of that is he hasn't really had Charles Bassey out here to count on like he usually does, but I need him to just step it up. And that's not it. Look at Ingram. Look at Ingram. Look at Bruno. 4.7 rebounds, 2 assists. That's a solid game for our backup center. Here we go. Oh, 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 Steven Adams. Life was actually fast, my friend. Life was actually fast. So we're going to wrap that game up there with a almost 20 point or roughly 20 point victory. I'm happy with how the squad plays today. The Mavericks were trash. They're one and nine in the season. Now our team is six to five. We're above 500. And for the rest of the year, I don't ever want to be below 500 again. And the way the squad is playing, I've got a chance to not have that happen again.
Recap on the box score today, Jaden McDaniels put up another monster game. In 34 minutes, 38 points, 16 rebounds, two blocks, and three turnovers. I'm good with that stat line. If he wants to do that all season long, do might be the MVP at this point. John Morant, though, 28 points, great. Seven rebounds, three assists, great. And turnovers, not really that great. I think he missed Charles Bassey a lot in the pick and roll game, and that shows, but Nico Mannion in 17 minutes put up 17 points with six assists. He picked up a lot of the slack there on the assist side of the ball game. Brandon Ingram, not his best game, 13, three and four, with two steals and four blocks, no turnovers. I don't wanna have a lot of games like this. If we can find a happy medium between how he played in the first game and how he played in this game, I'll be good with that. When he was 12 and six, Dawson was 10 and two. Fernando is the backup with six, 12 and three. That was solid. Looking at Dallas really quickly. Dennis Smith Jr. went 28, three, four and four. Again, a great game by him. Luca started off strong and then faded out. Even Adams actually played really well, even though he started off slow. 16 points. 15 rebounds, 8 steals. He absolutely killed us in the pick and roll game, but the Dallas Mavericks are not a very good team. But what we're showing right now for the Alaska Explorers is we're actually a pretty good squad. And if you're curious how Jaden McDaniel stacks up against the rest of the NBA, right now he's averaging 21.5 points per game with 7.5 rebounds, a steal and a half or so. The dude's playing extremely well. He's 19th in the league in overall points per game. Your league leader is James Harden with Durant. Colin Sexton is averaging 26 points per game. Didn't really expect that. DeMarcus Cousins is killing in Atlanta. Blake Griffin still playing well. Dalen McHugh out of Seattle is killing it. Good to see the Supersonics back. 25 and a half points per game with seven rebounds and five assists per game. It's a heck of a run for the rookie of the year. And right now, I guess between Jalen McHugh and Jaden McDaniels. If you look at the NBA draft this season, there's a lot of good young talent. The top five right now is slated as Jalen Green, RJ Hampton, BJ Boston, KJ Martin, and Evan Mobley. Another really talented player here, and Isaiah Todd, who in my opinion, has a chance to be the best player out of that draft class. But if you go down a little bit as well, you have Jalen Suggs, you have Scottie Pippen Jr., who again, another talented player. Noah Farrakhan is here, Cash Stanley. There are a lot of talented players, and they have us just pegged right now at 16. But in my opinion, I want to pick at the end of the draft. I don't. I want to win a championship this season. I don't know if we can do it. To me, this is a team that could get to maybe the Western Conference Finals if the dominoes fall our way. Everybody stays healthy, especially Charles Bassey. This is a team, in my opinion, can compete for a championship. So there you have it through the first 11 games of the season. We are six and five. It's not great. Team chemistry has improved a lot, but we have a long way to go to get where we want to be. But the way we're playing right now, I'm happy. I'm optimistic. And if Jaden McDaniels keeps this up, MVP, Rookie of the Year, a lot of those things could be in his future.